I recently bought a set of closed-loop stepper motors from a Chinese supplier. I'd previously bought four other stepper motors like this from the same supplier. Unfortunately, of the three I got, two of them didn't work at all, and the third one worked very poorly. I had wired them up the same as the other ones I had, but they simply didn't work, so I had really no alternative but to take them apart and figure out what the wiring really was. These motors are a sensor combined with a ordinary open loop stepper motor which is on the bottom. I took off the protective cap. The three stepper motors that I had appeared to be from three different manufacturers sold by the same uh, Chinese company. So here the two wires are revealed inside. The top one is for the sensor obviously and the bottom one goes with four wires to the open loop stepper part of this. I had to slice the little foil tape that joined the top and the bottom together to get the top off. The four screws holding the cap onto the main part of the body come out easily. This cap is made out of plastic. On one of my steppers it was made out of metal and one of them had a gasket under the cap as well. The cap comes off easily revealing the sensor underneath. I could have stopped right here because I already saw the information that I needed but I decided to carry on with the disassembly for my own curiosity. The sensor electronics were screwed to the top of the main body with three small screws and this sensor assembly came off very easily. The little engraved disc that is read by the laser sensor is very delicate so you don't want to touch that. In fact on one of the discs uh, there was a large smudge from somebody's oily finger that cleaned off easily with some isopropyl alcohol. We see how thin this is and it's got very fine black markings on it. The little photodiode is inside that black piece and you can see the wiring pattern for that particular one. It easily slides in there. You do want to be gentle with it. I decided to check the continuity of the wires from this sensor board all the way back to where I had attached it to my control board. That's quite quickly done with a simple volt ohm meter measuring resistance. So having clarified to myself that the wiring all the way back to the control board from this sensor was intact. Then I could have a close look at the pattern and it revealed the information that I needed to know which was the wiring of the two loops going to the stepper and which wires were power and ground. With that information I could reassemble everything and it all worked. I hope this video was helpful. 
Thank you for watching.